Campella. This is today's best music. Good morning. Welcome to Sandy Breakfast. It's 15 minutes after 6. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uganda is a young country growing in confidence, but some demons like HIV are proving hard to shake. As you drive around Kampala, there are billboards everywhere urging people to get tested. Despite the long-term campaigns, HIV-positive people still face a lot of stigmatization and infection rates have started to go up again. Nicolette Owemana has had the virus since she was raped at the age of 10. She's chosen to be open about it, but it's been a struggle to survive. She can't get a job because of her status, so she makes jewellery to earn some cash. My friends don't even want to associate with me, those who are not positive. And when they hear my story, they tend to point fingers, you went looking for it because they don't actually know, they don't understand what somebody goes through. And um, for quite some time now I haven't been working because everywhere I go to look for a job, the first thing they ask me is my status. Surprisingly, there aren't any laws banning discrimination against people like Nicolette. We've discovered that some HIV-positive Ugandans are going as far as breaking the law to hide their status. We sent one of our team undercover to several clinics in Kampala, pretending to be an HIV-positive job seeker. Now I need your help because I know I am positive that I have to present a negative test at my workplace. Negative. They can barrest it. No, because no, they they won't it won't come back to your clinic. I just need your help, please. After a quick negotiation, the lab technician agrees to give her a negative result for about twenty dollars. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Getting a fake negative result turned out to be much easier than we thought. We have plenty of them. We went to 15 clinics across Kampala and 12 were prepared to give us a bogus negative. But it's not just health professionals accepting money to change results. This is Nasa Road in Kampala, the country's printing hub. You can get anything here from flyers to books and it's also very easy to get a forged HIV form. We got a positive test result from the country's main hospital, Mulago. We asked around to see if one of the printers could change it into a negative result. This is what we've managed to get, a new sheet of paper with the same information just much lighter. But the most important thing is that we have the lab stamp, which means we can now fill it out with anybody's name and say that they're negative. One woman who bought a fake result agreed to speak to us, but asked that we hide her identity. She paid around $500, much more than we did. I had to get a fake result so that I can be accepted in this company so that I can feed my child, you know. I went, I know it's illegal, what I did is illegal, it's not right. But at least it has saved my life, it has saved my child's life to some extent. Experts and activists say this stigma is hurting the country's fight against the disease because it can result in HIV positive people becoming too scared to access treatment and some end up passing the virus on to their partners. We showed our footage to Uganda's Minister of Health. He doesn't believe the fake results impact on national statistics, arguing that government figures take this into account. But he could not tell us if the practice was as widespread as our investigation suggested. However, he admits the government isn't dealing effectively with the problem. It does not shock me. Nevertheless, it is a challenge for government and the country to pull up its socks 
and squarely face this problem. Considering you know, the evidence we've gathered and how widespread it shows these practices to be, you don't really read about stories of clinics being closed down or people being prosecuted for, for having or giving negative results. I don't think that police will solve this problem. I think the critical point is to ensure that stigmatization, especially people who are asking for certificates of HIV negativity, uh, for those who want to get jobs, I think that should stop. I think that's discriminatory. I think that is pushing people to tell lies and to fake certificates. Uganda's fight against HIV has been impressive. But unless it tackles the entrenched stigma against those who are infected with the virus, it runs the risk of HIV rates continuing to rise, leaving a large section of its population living in the shadows. Catherine Biarahanga, BBC News, Kampala.